Guys, what is up? Welcome in here to a little Slaughterhouse Sports, a.k.a. a little bit of Kurt Magoosh. And today we're going to talk about some of the winners of free agency, but we're going to specifically talk about the Buffalo Bills. As the Buffalo Bills today, they acquire Khalil Mack, and, or excuse me, they acquire Von Miller, and they do so at a very, very gracious price. Um, Von Miller's getting a nice fat paycheck, and he deserves it. You know, he's a two-time Super Bowl champion, uh, one, you know, a first ballot Hall of Fame player. And um, it's, just, it's just awesome for Buffalo. They are finally going all in on talent. They get O.J. Howard, who out of Alabama, you know, he's a guy that, you know, has dealt with injuries, first-round pick, uh, but an immense talent. And you, you pair O.J. Howard, you know, next to uh, Dawson Knox, and you're really going to have, like, an awesome receiving core uh, there in, in Buffalo. Um, I know J.D. McKissick is no longer, you know, thinking about Buffalo. I still think that Motor Singletary is on that team. But Khalil Mack, I mean, th- there's some more uh, adjusted numbers into the contract of Khalil Mack. So I'll read you the numbers about Khalil Mack. It's a six-year deal. Um, so 51 and a half of it is guaranteed. So it's a six year, $120 million deal. You're paying him 20 million over six years. I know he's going to be 33. So that means that theoretically he'd play till he's 39. I know DeMarcus Ware did that, but this is most likely going to be, uh, you know, Von Miller's final stop. But here's the point. 50 million means that he's pretty much playing on a three-year deal and he's playing on a three-year deal that's pretty much worth like what 17 million a year or 18 over three years so you know really this move by the Buffalo Bills I mean this signals that they're all in and you got to be all in in this AFC, in the prime of Josh Allen's career, in the prime of Stefan Diggs' career. So I really, really like this move by Buffalo. Um, and again, like for those years that he's not going to be that productive, which is years 36, 37, and 38, that's when uh, Von Miller has no guaranteed money. You could just theoretically just release him there. So, you know, you have Von Miller, you have Jerry Hughes. Uh, I, I, I don't know if Jerry Hughes is, is a free agent. He, he, he might be. Uh, but Mitch Morse comes back, which is, which is absolutely awesome. You know, we'll have to see what happens, you know, with Sanders, with Cole Beasley on the offensive side of the football. So... Let's see if Jerry Hughes is a free agent. He might be. So this might be the replacement for Jerry um, out there in in Buffalo. But I really like the O.J. Howard deal. Um, You know, you pair him with Dawson Knox, and, and, you know, I think that that's a – I think that's a tremendous value here. Uh, for the uh, for the Bills. So overall, the Bills are doing a lot right, and I love what I'm seeing from the Buffalo Bills here um, in, in this free agency, in this class, and, um, you know, they're really going for broke, and, and I respect the hell out of it. So Buffalo today, you get some real, real good guys. You get Von Miller on the edge. You combine that with A.J. Epines in the middle out of Iowa. Um I'll tell you what, too. You know, you get Roger Saffold, who's a tremendous guard, a really versatile, movable guard who's going to be really good in pass protection. Spencer Brown out of Northern Iowa was a complete tank. Deion Dawkins. I mean, this is this is a championship team, and, and Brandon Bean's going all in. Uh, Ed Oliver in the middle. How could we forget? Gregory Rousseau, Epinesa, Star Latuolele. Um, you know, a lot of people have issues with Tremaine Edmonds, but you know, it's possible that the Bills can draft a uh a, a linebacker. Uh also, you know, Trey Davis White went down, so you're going to also look at getting a uh, a corner uh in this draft probably as well if if you are Buffalo even though I like, you know, Siren Neal or Teron Johnson. So, um but you know, this Buffalo team it owns Bill Belichick. And now you supplement this team, 
You supplement this team by getting an O.J. Howard, who's a six foot six beast. And even though Dawson was awesome last year, Dawson's been very inconsistent throughout his tenure in Buffalo with staying on the field and being a consistent pass catcher. Uh, so now you have O.J. Howard there, and um, it's a really, really good signing. And I love the Saffold deal. Uh, is tremendous, and Mitch comes back. So, um, you know, again, this team is staying pretty tight. You know, it's kind of how Shane and uh, Brandon and wanted to build it you know they want to draft and and that's what they want to do so congratulations again to Buffalo on another very successful day